Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy DJ here, and today we're back on Dokkan Battle, and we got the new free-to-play unit for Global over here. Uh, we got the GT. I said GT. It's Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta Jr. from the end of GT, or it wasn't in the movie. I think it was the end of GT slash the movie. I don't know. I don't really remember all that much. I need to go back and watch GT. But here we we got them a little early over here, and we got their EZA and everything. So we're gonna check out how good they are and see how. Um, how good they work with this little team right here. I think it will be pretty fun and to see if they're trash or fire. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a like for your new channel, subscribe. Make sure you go hit that subscribe button. Help us hit that 1K sub goal. That's the goal for 2022. And also go like the video if you enjoyed the video in any way. And before we get into today's video, I gotta play this intro for y'all. Alright guys, here we are, and so far, starting off, they have a lot of key already, so that's what I like to see. This is the link set, we got them up right here with this setup, missing Saiyan Warrior Race and Shocking Speed. This should be a very good rotation for them, only, by the way, really low link leveled, so, you know, 150k base defense. Okay, so let's let's see what they do real quick, just a, just a quick little overview on their super attack, their 12 key, they raise attack infinitely in lower defense. 18 key raise attack and lowers attack when in on their um oh they're both melees both of them are melee supers and then also on their passive they get 100 percent base and they get 10 percent defense with each attack performs or do is going to even go higher that's how that's where they get their extra defense from and then two extra key per rainbow key sphere a whole lot of key very easy to do with especially with this team with all the rainbow orb changers and they get he gives category allies support one key and 20 percent and launches an additional attack with a medium chance of becoming a super attack with five or more key spheres. And as another chance when you go against a Vegeta or Goku family category enemy. So, over here, let's just say that they can do up to four super attacks against this Vegeta. As long as I give them five warps. I think I just, I'm pretty sure I just gave them five warps. So, let's see what they do first turn. GT Goku's at 5.56. Like, how many more? Six orbs or something like that? He's not linked up too optimally, but you know, and he's linked level 10 link. He has two dupes. Don't additional. Oh, not a super. So let's see what they do. First turn with a very good setup. Very good setup. 3.4. 3.45. So, with all their additionals, that's good because they can just, you know, if you do 3.45, I don't know what their additional is going to be. Let's just say it's like 2.5. That's a lot of attack right there built up. And they can do another one. I think that's a pretty fire to me. So. We're going to, you know, let's keep testing them out, seeing how good they, you know, can be. And also, they stack attacks, so in events like this, they just want to get stronger and stronger. They don't, it seems like to me they want to be in a longer type style event. Not really, but they do. They don't, they do, but they don't. Because you need, um, seven attacks to build up their full thing, but they, in the right situation, they can attack four times in one turn. So, you know, you know. I think when he goes up, am I crazy? When they go up against an enemy, do they have a Vegeta family enemy? Is it do they have a medium chance of performing a super attack, or is it an additional with a medium chance, a guaranteed additional? I think it's just at medium. Let me make sure, because I just want to be wary of that. It's a additional attack that has a medium chance, so it's a guaranteed additional attack with five orbs and. A guaranteed additional attack against Vegeta family. So yes, it's guaranteed additionals. And then over here, they don't have anything extra. So let's get them these six orbs right here, full key, because that rainbow key um, orb mechanic is very good for them. We have too many rainbow key spheres on the field with Vegeta and Goku together. <laughs> I didn't check their defense. Oh no, 2.9. All right, so 2.9 is a lot lower without the support and the legendary power link. But. Okay, here we go. We didn't get the super attack, but that's another attack performed. That's another attack performed. Give me a hidden potential. Yes, sir. Hidden potential. 1.7. So, it's not the best attack. But right now, they, did, they didn't do terrible attacks. So, here's my stance on units right now. You can be like GT Goku and GT Vegeta, who just throw out 6 million attack stats or higher, you know. Or the LRs or, you know, units who just throw out these fat attack stats. And all that but still even now I they're not that common to just have a unit going around 
throwing out the fattest of attacks that's everywhere. It's just not that common still, even to this day. So, I'm not going to sit here and judge him based on the rare, the rare set of units who just do insane damage, like just out of this world, catastrophic damage, because there's not enough of them. So, I'm going to go by the general pool, and the general, I'm going to say a very good attack stat, like a, a pretty decent attack, if I see 5, 4.5, 5 million, and then you can additional as well, like that's not bad, <laughs> it's not bad, and of course, they have all these additional chances, so of course, I'm still not going to be like, I don't expect them to do 8 million on one super, with like normal setups, <laughs> Because they have all these additionals. They would just be broken, you know? So, you know. And plus, I don't really give two dams about who the best, best units in the game are anyway. So, anyways. Defense is at 232,000 defense. Let's put him here. Let's see what happens if we put him against Vegeta. And let's see what that attacks that is. They have 40% support this time. I didn't, um, can't get the shattering, I mean, I'm sorry, the... The, what would they even get with you guys? Nothing. Saiyan Warrior Race. You can't get Saiyan Warrior Race. But they have 40% support this time. So let's see what they do now. Got a, got like three stacks in. Their defense is building up. 3.7. Okay, so I'm going to just say that with support and everything, they're going to be just shy of 4 million um, at first, you know, without building up much or anything like that. And you've got these additionals going in, building up that defense. That defense should be fully built up by now. He did a four, yeah, easily. Because he did four attacks last rotation and three attacks this rotation. So it's his defense is peak. So now next thing we'll be, be able to see their peak defense and see what, what they're working with. See what the true power is. Okay, that's not, ooh. You know, I'm going to just use this now. It's not going to do any damage, but I really want to use it. He can fight anymore. <laughs> Kaioken! Uh, GT, I mean, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta could definitely rock my world right here. I'm not gonna lie. Do I use an item? I'm gonna use this item. How much defense does Vegeta have pre super? Yeah, I'm gonna use this item. Got two physicals on the rotation. Because that would not be good if he just uh, decided to destroy me. <laughs> so. But yeah, this is a. Uh, this unit. It's just a nice free-to-play unit you throw on the team. I don't think they're bad in any sense. No, mm, no. Just I would I would probably have them as a floater. I wouldn't have them as a main rotation unit for me personally. <laughs> Especially when you have these two doing these like on this team. I feel like GT Heroes is his best their best team because they have the orb changes and everything. I would say Hybrid Saiyans, but Hybrid Saiyans is a key weird. A key, uh, they need a rainbow orb changer or something like that. A good one or something like that. They got. They have people who give nice support. They have a lot of support for key, but just not a key changer, you know. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. And let's pop this. I'll fight whenever I have to. All right. And then what's their peak defense? Peak defense is 225k with zero defensive support. That is pretty good. That's that's pretty good, if you ask me. So. Let's do that, and let's see what their would this be. This wouldn't be peak offensive stats, um, but it would be. It would be pretty good. <laughs> It'd be pretty good because he has the B pan effect. I don't want to sandwich him between like B pan and then another support unit just because. When do you? You don't really do that a lot. Well, I brought B pan just to be fun. <laughs> get that. Get that in there somewhere. So let's see what they. Let's see what they do. See what they do. This B pan should pump them up. They're not above four million, and I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. Still 110k on her. 4.8. Yeah. Now, if I had support on this rotation too, we'd lose some links. But yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. B pan be be making people flex a little bit or something like that, you know? <laughs> Woo. I, I, these GT Dokkan Fest units are just so good. They're so good. I'm so happy Global and JP got them at the same time. I hope they do that this year again. Because we'd, we'd have, um, we would have 
the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Kid Buu going on, and then this would, the, whoever the Dokkan Fest are this year that takes these GT Dokkan Fest spots would come again. And we'd have like two, <laughs> two dual Dokkan Fest going on at the same time, or like relatively close, that's funny. But um, yeah, they're gonna be so useful when they when LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta comes out and everything. Yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna be having fun. Don't worry, the anniversary time is going to be fun, peak fun time. It's gonna be peak Doga. <laughs> I'm so happy I just pulled these units. I pulled them um this unit on, I pulled this unit on the Majin Vegeta banner with my tickets. So, all right, here we go. Um, what's the best route to do this? B-Pan? Probably B-Pan. That's a lot of rainbow orbs to give up. Yeah, let's just do that. Alright, last rotation of the video. Let's see what we can get here for you. You got 250k defense. Um, I don't think that defense is bad. Um, you know, a lot of people would be like, that's terrible because red zone event, but why would I care? Why would I? Everything's bad in the red zone, dude. You better have... 80% damage reduction or dodge everything, dude. All right. So, <laughs> um, in most situations, this defense is pretty solid. So, I wish they raised it or something like that, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. So, let's see what they got. They got uh, link wise, everything but Super Saiyan and Saiyan Warrior race as attack links. So, last rotation, we saw them in a lot of situations. No support with support with B Pan support. B Pan's getting slapped up because their defense got lowered, but you know, it's fine. Give me that health back. Can I get a crit? I'm going to need a crit, B-Pan. Even though I really don't care. I'm just going to quit after this. That still was a decent amount of damage. 3.8 additional. No super. I really want a turn where they just go off. They're giving me the normals. Just know they can do it. Yeah, like this. They could do that. That whatever they had in the beginning. And then two. I mean, three more of these. But they're not. Just because, you know, it is a medium chance to do a super tag. But even... Even UI Goku and AG, um, and Blue Vegeta have a medium chance to do another additional super attack. I mean, I'm sorry, a medium... Is it a medium chance to super attack? Yeah, it's a medium chance to super attack. They have that. And they do it a lot, so... You know, but hey. It is what... Nah, I'm, I gotta... Ooh. Ooh. Why can't he kill? No! I wanted to see the KO screen. I never see... They're... They're... They're nukers with an attack active skill, so you never... You never get to see their full... Like, their active skill doesn't hit hard because they didn't get the orbs yet. <laughs> so stupid. Time to get serious. Hey, at least it looks cool, right? But I'm actually gonna do one more turn with them, just because... I want another shot at that, um... Additional chance. I do. They, they, I know they can do it. I know they can do it. So I'm going to give them one more shot. I won't give up on them. But otherwise, they're pretty good. They're, they're pretty good. Nice free play unit. Um, I, I, enough said. Enough said. And then Super Battle Road, they'll lower attack and everything like that. So pretty cool. Pretty cool unit. Pretty cool unit. Imagine I'm on a 200% lead, bro. All right, here we go. I need, I need the six orbs. Honestly, this should be six orbs, right? I'm going to do this route just in case I need that rainbow orb. I mean, I'm sorry, five orbs. That's five orbs. It's full key. Just to make sure. Five orbs, right? Not six orbs. Yes, sir. Five, five or more key spheres. Here we go. Let's see what GT... I'm, keeps, it is GT, technically. Let's see what Vegeta and Goku Jr. can do. Please, additional. Please. Please. Please, they, they should have stacked up above 4 million now, right, with support? Yeah, 4.4. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. Come on, show us the additionals. The additional supers, please. Yes, that's one. Come on. So, yeah, just, just count up the numbers. Just count up the numbers. That's one. Ooh, no. Yes. All right, we got three. We got three. That's that's a good rotation. <laughs> yeah, that, that's them showing off how good they are. Yeah. They're, they're not bad. They're not bad. Yeah, I like them. Oh, let's see what they tank for. A little 250k defense. Probably going to get slapped up. 270? That's a lot. But Vegeta does hit hard. So, <laughs> he does hit hard. 
So their defense could be, you know, I think it's it's pretty solid. It's not the greatest defense of all. No, I'm not saying it, but it's pretty solid. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you do like your new channel, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.